Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scraftiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to come on today to share the new September Scrap Diva Designs release. Yay! Super excited. It's all things Halloween. If you've been following the design team members this past week, you have seen so many sneak peeks, I am sure. And I hope you guys are so excited about this release that is available on the website today. So head on over to ScrapDivaDesigns.com so that you can um, see all of these new products. All right, let's jump in. I'm going to start with the word die sets. I have three Halloween word die sets that are available in the shop. You can purchase them individually or you can purchase them as a bundle and get all three together. So the first die set is right here. And this is Halloween words number one. And I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can see a little bit better. But in this set, you get the word carving, the word fangs, broom, cross, spiders, and vampire. And these words, in case you're wondering, so this one is about two and a half inches by a half inch um, as far as the sizing. So um, they're actually a really nice size. They're not too big, but they're not too small. So that is Halloween words number one. And then moving along to Halloween words number two, which is right here. You have the word scream, midnight, horror, Howl, Scary, and Spells. And they look really, really fun. Cut out um, with this holographic paper. Um, so many different color combinations you can do, obviously, but super, super cute. All right, moving along to the word set number three. And yes, this is Halloween words number three. And in this set, you get the word zombie. Dracula, Shadows, Cursed, Potions, and Full Moon. So that is a Halloween word size set number three. All right, moving along. The next die set that I want to share with you is this one right here. This is the Skeleton Mini Album. And this one is so adorable. I love it so much. I think it came out super, super cute. He or she measures approximately five inches long and about four and a quarter inches wide. And you can make so many different little projects with this one right here. I've seen gift bags already being created. Um, obviously you can make cards. So here is an example. Um, of a card and as you can see he is all puffed up on five millimeter foam it's just to give him some dimension off of the um off of the page and i think it looks so cool and i did turn the eyes into shakers i had some like little crystals i put in there and i just thought how cool is that but i love the dimension that you can add to this and this is the inside and then this is the back uh just so you have an idea when you're cutting this out, um, you can keep this uh, uh, piece in the center of this outer layer die and cut it together. That way you have the outline pieces um, for your die cut so you know exactly where to place them. Um, just a little tip there, but you don't have to do that. You can just cut them out individually and just freehand placing them wherever you want to put them. Um, there's another example. This one I did with um, holographic paper and pink. So you, obviously you can do different combinations, but it's so, so cool. I love it so, so much. So this is the Skeleton uh, mini album. All right, moving along to the next die set. This one is absolutely, uh -oh, I'm dropping stuff. One of my favorites. And this is the Spider Bow die set. And I'm gonna just zoom out just a tad, there we go. Um, you do get two um, different size bows in this die set. You get two spiders and then you get two uh, sets of bows that you can double layer. 
And then you get this piece right here to close your bow. And this is the large one that I created. Look how pretty that is. And I did go in with my diamond dots and add it to the little dots on the outer parts of the um, spider. How cute is that? The large one measures approximately almost four inches in length and the width is about two and three quarters, so you have an idea. But how pretty is that? I love this spider, it's so, so cool. And you could even like take this part right here, and I'm thinking you could even like do like a little witch, um, like skirt or something like that, I don't know. Just an idea. And this is the smaller one right here. And this one measures approximately three inches by two and a quarter. Super, super cute. And I love the size of this one. Again, I went in with my little diamond dots and added it to the little tips of the spider web. And I think that came out so, so cute. So we got the, the mama and the baby. Super, super cute, right? Love this set right here. And I do wanna say that um, a lot of the times, um, Nicole and I collaborate on a lot of the designs. I give her the ideas, we talk about it, but this one was all uh, her design. So shout out to Nicole. She is the one that designed this um, spider bow. Um, so I just wanted to say that. All right, moving along to the next die set. The next one is the Candy Corn Memory Dex die set. And this one is adorable. You get the base of the Memory Dex, you get a spider, you get candy, candy corns, and little pieces of candy that you can layer. You have a couple different options to layer. You get a little face option, jelly beans, and then you have the little heart. And this measures approximately four and a quarter inches long. And the widest part is about three and a quarter inch. So you get the base and then you get the layering pieces. And of course you can turn it into a shaker. So this is the first one that I created. And as you can see, it has the stitching on each little section. I did pop it up on foam to give it a little bit of dimension. I love the little stitch heart detail down here. It's adorable. If you remember last year, I had the um, little mini candy corn uh, die set um, with the little tiny hearts in it. That is still in the shop. I do still have some Halloween leftover from last year. If you wanna pick that up, but um, yes, it's similar to that, but isn't that adorable? I love that. And then I do have an example with the shaker and um, I there's the spider, look up the detail. He even has like a little face, it comes with a die set. And if you can see in the shaker, I did die cut out some of the little candy pieces and included it in the shaker mix. And um, there's some of the jelly beans in there as well. So super, super cute little memory dex card and you're good to go. So that is new in the shop. All right, moving along to the next die set. This one is one of my favorites and this is the trick or treat memory dex bag. Love, love, love this. And this is gonna be so versatile. You can use this all year round. Obviously you can use it for Halloween but you can use it Christmas, Valentine's, anytime because it's a bag so you can decorate it any way you want. So if you're not really into Halloween crafting, you don't have to use the little jack-o'-lantern face. You can do whatever your heart desires with this one. So I really love this one right here. So let me show you what it looks like. And I do have another die set that's also new that I wanna just go ahead and show since it's on this project. This is the Poison Bottle Shaker die set and you do get two of uh, different size uh, poison bottles in this set along with the cute little poison tag. The large one measures approximately four and three quarters of an inch in height and the small one is about three and a quarter inches um, tall. Just so you have an idea, you get the bones, the little skull heads, the top of the cork, and then of course you get these little tags which I absolutely love how those came out. So this is the memory decks that I created and on the front I have the large um, potion bottle shaker and I did add the bones and the skulls in there and I layered them with foam so they're they're dimensional inside the shaker and then I just created a little fun shaker mix in there 
And then you see the poison, how it's embossed into the die, into the tag. I just love that. Added a little bow, super, super cute. This little ghosty is a die for my stash. And then the box itself is the actual memory decks um, from this die set right here. And as you can see, this piece right here, and this is approximately uh, an inch and three eighths. So it's a really good size. You can put plenty of goodies in here. And then this is the back of the box. How cute is that? Love, love, love. And so you can decorate it with the jack and lantern face if you want. Um, and then you have the spot down here for the memory deck so you can stick it in the memory decks holder. Um, so I really, really love this one. And I love the fact that you can, you're going to be able to use this one all year round. So super excited about this one right here. Both of these sets are definitely a must have in your crafty stash. Love them both. All right, moving along. The next one I'm going to share with you is the tall pumpkin. That's what I'm calling this one. You get this jack-o'-lantern face and then you also get this uh, jack-o'-lantern face as well. There's a girl and a boy and absolutely adorable. So I had this idea and actually um, Marissa, the pink ape, she actually had suggested that we do some type of tall pumpkin to go with the bag maker die set. So if you already own the bag maker die set, it'll be perfect to use with this pumpkin. So you'll be able to create your own pumpkin bag like I did here uh, using the bag maker uh, die set because it's a perfect fit as you can see. And um, what I did was I die cut out the girl face and I turned it into a shaker. And I'm sorry for the glare, this holographic paper is super, super shiny. I added a handmade bow and a little um, spider charm. I just took off the little charm piece on the top and just um, glued him on with some Fabri-Tac. I thought that was adorable. I used some ribbon for the handle, but you can use paper if you wish. And then on the side, I added a little trick or treat tag. And this is the ghost tag, and I'm gonna share that in just a minute. But this is also new in the shop as well. Added a little bead, a little um, Halloween bead. Somebody gifted that to me. I don't know, I think I bought a bunch of wire wrapped Halloween beads last year. So I stuck one on there. And I think it came out adorable. How cute would this be to give to your trick or treaters? Um, I actually have some younger kids in my neighborhood now. So I'm excited that I'll be able to like give them some little handmade goodies this year. All right, moving along to the next die set. Actually, I have one more. This is the boy. I forgot to share the boy. And I wanted to show you that actually this die is really versatile. You can use it obviously to make a bag, but you can make a card. And since it has a straight line, you could totally make a mini album with this one. That would be adorable. And if you didn't want to use the face, you could keep it plain and it could just be a tall pumpkin and you could decorate it however you'd wish if you'd like to do fall theme projects. Uh, so I did want to point that out, but this is the boy, um, the boy uh, tall pumpkin. And he measures approximately five and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches, just so you have an idea of the size. It's a really great size die. All right, moving along, I'm gonna move along to the skull bag toppers. You've got the large, actually, yes. This is the skull bag topper number three. I don't wanna get them mixed up. This is skull bag number two. And then this one is number one. There's three different sizes in these sets. They all are identical. They all have the same pieces. They're just different sizes. So the large size is this one right here and it's big. And what I love about these is that you don't have to use it as a bag topper. You can totally use this for an embellishment, put it in a scrapbook, um, however you wish, make a card with it. So the large one measures approximately four inches, four inches by three and a quarter inches. So it's a really great size. Love, love, love this, super, super cute. And then the medium size one, this is the number two. This is what it looks like. And again, if you have your little treat bag, you'd be able to stick it on like so, and it'd just be adorable. Now this one for measurement is 
three inches by two and a half inches. So really great size. Again, super, super cute. You can make so many different color combos with this. Just love this one so, so much. And then this one right here is the smallest one. And again, the measurement for the smallest one is two and three quarters by about two and three eighths. So it's a little bit smaller than this one. And I'll just do it all side by side so that you can see all three sizes, um, but absolutely adorable, right? So those are the three um, bag toppers. You can buy them individually or you can get the bundle and get all three if you want all three sizes. So I hope you guys are excited about those. All right, moving along to the next die set is this one right here. And this is the Skull mini album. And this was my original idea to do the mini album. And then Nicole was like, we should do bag toppers. And I was like, yes, that's a great idea. So um, this is the mini album. And the mini album is bigger than the largest bag topper. So just so you know, and this measures approximately five and a half inches in the length. And it's approximately about four and three eighths of an inch long, just so you have an idea. And so the mini album looks like this. Look how cute this is. And I'm just gonna zoom in just a tad so you guys can see. Look how cute this is. Again, you can use this piece, these pieces as an embellishment. You don't have to use it with the mini album, but obviously it's super, super cute. Um, you can layer it up. I layered mine with um, foam. So it has a lot of dimension. The bones are popped up on foam, the skulls on foam. And then I laid the um, bow, the layering pieces for the bow. It's just adorable. And then of course you get the, the stitched layer pieces uh, for your mini album. So that's what that looks like. So you can add your little pictures or little embellishments. Here is another one. I use some basil, some type of basil acetate, I think to create this one. And I made the eyes a shaker, super, super fun love 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 and i'm sorry for that glare it's so shiny and then there's just some more pages in here like so just so you have an idea of what it would look like as a mini album so i think this is adorable if you like making um minis i think this is super sweet for halloween all right moving along to the next uh die set was which is another mini album and it is this one right here. And this is the Candy Corn Mini Album. And this one measures approximately five and a half inches by four inches. So it's a really great size. You get a few words in this one. You get sweet treat and you get the word scary. You also get a spider with a layering piece. You get some candy corns that you can layer and then a couple of hearts. And then you have these ones right here. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the little mini album that I created and it says sweet treats on the front. I used some orange um, uh, rings for the, um, the closure. And I also use the mini tab die set that is available uh, in my shop um, for this mini album. These mini tabs are perfect for mini albums. If you don't have the mini tab set, Definitely put that in your cart because you can use it with so many of the mini albums that are in my shop. Um, so as you can see, I made the first page a shaker, which I think is super, super cute. Love my shakers. And these words are popped up on five millimeter foam and they really pop off of the candy corn. So when you turn it over, it looks like this. Then I just have a few of the candy corns decorated. You don't have to create a shaker if you don't want to. And so that's what I basically just did, just layered the rest of the pages like so. And then on the back, you're gonna be able to add your pictures and your embellishments. And again, another super sweet mini album, ready to go for Halloween. All right, I've got a couple more guys to share with you. I know this is a really big release this month. There are 16 die sets that I've been released for this month. So there's a ton. So there's lots to choose from, from, and there is definitely something for everyone. All right, so this is the pumpkin mini album, and this one measures 
um, approximately five and five eighths of an inch wide by about three and three quarters of an inch tall. You do get the stitched layering pieces. You get the base and then you get two stitched layering pieces. And then you also get this space, which is a separate piece that you can cut out the actual jack-o'-lantern. And then you get a base piece for the pumpkin and a stitch layering piece. This is for the stem. You get a spider web, you get a pumpkin, and you get some leaves with this one. So let me show you what this die set looks like. It's so, so cool with the holographic paper. Love, love, love this. And I don't know what that is. There's something wet on my pumpkin. But super, super cute, right? And so these are the spider webs that come with this set. How, how adorable. Cut out of pink and holographic. There's a lot of different ones that you can, you know, do different combinations. You can see the holographic right here and this really fun blue. So you can just have fun playing with different color combinations with this. So I cut the spider web out of several different ones, but I just love this pumpkin. Obviously you can make them a treat bag, a mini album, um, a card, whatever your heart desires. There's lots of options with this one. Here are a couple of the pumpkins that I cut out that come with this set. Um, and I did pop them up on some foam to give them a little bit of dimension. Super sweet. And then here we have the leaves. You get a big one and a small one. Oh, and there's another pumpkin. So a super, super sweet set. And you can just layer your leaves on your pumpkin like so, however you wish. Just adorable, right? So that is the pumpkin mini album. Super, super cute. And then last but not least, I wanna show you the ghost tags, which I accidentally dropped. Okay, so here are the ghost tags. Last but not least, you get two little ghost tags and then you get the words that read scary, candy, trick, boo, eat, or treat. And so I cut them out for you guys so that you can see so there's trick, we have boo, scary, candy, eek, and treat. All of these are in this set. Um, some of the design team members have been making super cute projects with these. Um, Amy, who is my Teddy Boo, is a guest designer this month. She made some cute little ghost banners with this one. Um, Patty, Mommy and Me, she made some really cute little ghosty tags using some other little dies from Scrap Diva Design. So make sure you check out her channel. Um, super, super fun. Love this tag set. Let me just measure it for you really quick. It is approximately, let's see, about three inches in length and about an inch wide. So it's a great size tag to add to your little projects. Um, gift bags like I did on this one right here. Anna uh, from Serenity Creations, she had put one and so did Natalie, um, put some bling on it. She, they added little um, tags to their treat bags. So you can do that um, and make really cute projects. Or you can just use the words as an embellishment on a project as well. You don't even have to stick them on the tag. So this is the September 1st, uh, release for Scrap Diva Designs. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Let me know what was your, which one is your favorite? Which one do you think that you just have to have? What's the must have one that you want? Let me know. I'd really like to know. All right. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.